Hello, and welcome to my channel here on the Fred Minnick Show, right here on YouTube. I'm about to sip on some of this right here. Ingram River Age. So what is Ingram River Age? Well, this is one of those source whiskey brands that is kind of, I would say, changing the game uh, a little bit with how they're doing things. They are putting whiskey on river barges. Now, I know what you're thinking, that, you know, Jefferson's Ocean's done this. They have full-blown warehouses. I've seen these rick houses. They've got like an imagine like an actual rick house floating on a river. It's crazy. Uh, and this is specifically this is barge number. They've got it right here on the, on the top of the bottle. This is barge number one n zero six eight five one eight. You know they're gonna have a lot of barges if they're going uh, that far. So this is a um, hundred proof. This is their flagship. Looks like to be. Uh, let's see here. So it's definitely. It's distilled in Indiana, and they've got the route that they that it goes on, on the back of the bottle. So you can see on the back of the bottle the route that they take it on. Pretty cool. And it says mellowed on the Mississippi. On the water, no matter the size of the fleet, there is only one flagship. The title was reserved for the finest vessel, and that outshines the rest. The same is true of this bottle, aged on the river and chosen for its extraordinary character. This limited-release bourbon was our finest spirit of 2022. Well, they're putting a lot on that there label. We'll find out if it's right. Uh, so a couple things as I'm uh, jumping into this. Now, I've got a new event. I announced it yesterday on my review of the Four Roses Limited Edition Small Batch. Uh, but I am doing an event in Washington, D.C. in Nationals Park on the Marine Corps birthday, November 10th. So if you're a Marine, make sure you're coming. This is a USO benefit so money is going to go to the USO, uh, which is very helpful to me for my when I return home from Iraq. Uh, it's been helpful to a lot of uh, men and women in uniform. So make sure you come check this out. And we will sing the Marine Corps birthday song. We will definitely do that. And uh, so tickets are in the description. It's my blind bourbon event. We're going to have Pappy, Pappy Van Winkle, 23-year-old, A.H. Hirsch from 1974. It's going to be mwah, chef's kiss gonna be a good time so come come check that out now you're here for the whiskey tasting not for me talking about my events which i do a lot of events that's how that's how i keep the lights on in my home that's how i support my family so thank you all for coming i appreciate you tuning in on this youtube channel too i always talk about this youtube community you all mean so much to me you saved me in the pandemic and uh, I know I've not been the best on this, but I'm, I'm crazy. You know, I, I can't be that or I'm not that organized when it comes to my YouTube channel. So I just uh, get in the mood for tasting. I drop a video just like now. And the, the times that I do get organized, I don't get them edited in time for a new release. I drop. So I have like 15, 30 videos in the queue for you to see soon. Okay, I'm going to shut up now and just get to tasting this because I know you're probably already bored. Like, this guy won't shut the fuck up. Hurry up and taste. And I apologize to anybody who may be offended by me using the F word. Um, I will work on my offensive language. I know from time to time that I have been able, been known to drop an F-bomb or seven in a row. So, my apologies to you. Also... You should not watch this in front of your children because I do drop a lot of F-bombs. And if you're my son watching, I love you. Love you, Julian, Oscar. Okay. So this is kind of grain forward. There's a lot of uh, a lot of grain on this nose, um, like fresh grain, fresh milled grain. Hmm. Yeah, grain and uh, this is going to sound weird, 
but it smell it reminds me of like fried okra. Like there's this okra, like fried okra smell. Like there's like corn on there. You got it in the frying pan. Okra smells pretty cool when it's being, but if you cook it too long, it's like crispy. Um, and that doesn't, it tastes like rubber, but it smells, it has a very, I don't know, fry, it has a smell of fried okra. If you, if you eat okra, you know what I'm talking about. So grain and fried okra. That's not exactly the most warming notes going into a taste. Let's see. Now, I recall really liking the Ingram Reserve last year, so much so that I went out and bought three bottles. Uh, last year's, uh, in my opinion, is far superior than this one. Uh, the nose is is kind of a miss. The palate is um, is not bad. This is not a bad bourbon. It's actually good but last year's to me was i mean it made my top 100 list it was really really good i really personally like that one a lot but i'm gonna keep tasting this there's more more information about this one in the uh in my description as well as price point all right so it has a um pretty appealing middle palate feel a little bit on the tip but there's like an overwhelming cornbread note. There's a touch of spice toward the back. Uh, I find this to be to be pretty short on the finish, but I would say the most prominent note here would be cornbread, maybe a little bit of honey, um, and some spice, maybe some black pepper. But it's not a it's not a uh, an exuberant, complicated uh, bourbon like I felt like last year's was. Last year was a really nice caramel bomb. Had a lot of vanilla to it. Had a lot of, um, had some nice spice to it as well. Uh, this one does not there. But if you're to ask me, like, okay, compare it to something that is that is um, equal. I would say like I would be I would be buying this in the same in the same league as buying like Four Roses uh, small batch or single barrel or Woodford Reserve uh, or or maybe like um, you know to me this is in that it's in that wheelhouse it's in that wheelhouse of those nice available bourbons. But you got to remember I'm just one person. I'm one taster here. Taste for yourself. Someone may taste this and think it's their whiskey of the year. Um, and, you know, a, a palate is just that. It's a, it's one person's opinion. It's a palate uh, good in giving out information of what they pick up. We all taste differently. And sometimes, you know, the truth is sometimes your palate's off. And today, I don't think my palate's off. I've I feel like it's okay, but uh, this is, uh, you know, my opinion on this is like it's it's in the league of like Woodford Reserve and Four Roses Small Batch. Um, it's good, is it? Um, but it's not as good as their last year limited edition, uh, their limited release from Ingram. Still, nonetheless, what they're doing with the with the with the steamboats uh, or the barges uh, to me. That's a really cool process because it is it is very close to how whiskey used to be transported in the uh, 1700s and 1800s, and so that constant working on the river uh, is is unique. And because it's staying it within the United States, you know, it'll always be bourbon. So no one can never make that argument that it would not be bourbon. But anyway, I like the concept. I like what they're doing. I love those rick houses. There's a fly coming over here to attack me. And uh, I think it's I think it's cool, but this uh, this year's release is is uh, just okay for me. But that's gonna do it for this review. If you would like to uh, see more reviews, honest reviews, click that subscribe button, hit the like button for me, and uh, also go taste this for yourself. You should never just rely on my opinion to make your bourbon buying decisions. That's gonna do it, folks. Be safe out there, and remember, vodka sucks.
works unless, can you say it? Can you say it? Unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers, everybody. So there's the off button.